Department with Transport Topics here at the 13th Annual Recruitment and Retention Conference in Nashville, Tennessee. And joining me is Leah Schultz. And Leah, tell people what you do. Yeah. I'm the social media manager at Papa John's International, where I oversee all of the uh, U.S. social media for the general market and also the Hispanic market. Terrific. And at this conference, um, you were touch you were talking about social media and particularly uh, Facebook. Tell us about how Facebook is changing the way that we recruit drivers. Absolutely. Well, with um, a user base of over 1.5 billion users, it's really hard to argue with the depth they have and the penetration they have within the market, um, as well as the targeting capabilities they have. Um, as you know, uh, when you create your profile, you're uploading all sorts of personal information, everything from your name to where you work, your political affiliation, your religion, uh, your interests, movies you like, all of that. And uh, Facebook's done a really great job at creating these um, um, social contexts around who the users are and developing different ways to target based on behavioral um, interests and activities and, of course, the uh, conversations that we're having on social. So. Um, by the people that you connect with, uh, that creates kind of your social network within within the framework there, and because of that, you're able to target uh, in ways that you never have on other types of media. And when drivers go on Facebook, um, what is a good way for the recruiters to attach and connect with them? Yeah, well, a lot of times they're um, identifying themselves as a truck driver or working at different carriers. They will often call out um, who their carrier is. They like the page. Uh, they're leaving comments there. They're asking questions as they're, um, you know, looking around for different positions. And I think it first starts with listening uh, from the carrier perspective. So understanding where these drivers are on, on Facebook and social media, what they're talking about, what their interests are, and how to appeal to them uh, in ways and being able to do content marketing. So developing blogs, serving them up on Facebook, developing videos, uh, serving them up there, and of course. Um, sharing the different types of media in a way that uh, connect with drivers based on their interests. So maybe that's how-to videos um, and, and all different things from driver recruiting to also retention because uh, Facebook has become a great place not only for carriers to connect with drivers but for drivers to connect with other drivers as well. And how important it is for firms uh, and recruiters to uh, launch, create videos that appeal to uh, prospective drivers? Mm -hmm. uh, video is definitely the fastest, um, you know, growing type of content on all social media. Uh, I think Facebook recently announced some statistics showing that it is um, the type of content that is getting the furthest reach. It's also being consumed more than any other type of content um, on the network. Uh, and, and with that, we're able to have a lot of versatility. Everything from animated videos to quick uh, videos created on your mobile phone. Um, and, and that speaks well to, to drivers, I think, because uh, none of us have time to read. We don't want to read. We yeah. want to get something quick that's easily digestible. We're on the go. Exactly. Uh, so you're, we're going to see a rise in, in not only videos but the short form videos. Um, I think that the current sweet spot there is is within eight seconds. Uh, they say after three seconds, that's the most important part where you've got to hook them. Uh, so really, you're going to see a, a increase in these short form videos. And you mentioned in this conference that the video uh, is also it trumps the the print product mm -hmm. and uh, tell me about the analytics. I heard you mm -hmm. say something about, you know, the quantifying yep. what a video would be in text. And I think the, the best thing about social is that everything is trackable. Okay. So we can apply um, these learnings from the different insights, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, all the different social networks have developed uh, really insightful ways to report back to advertisers and companies on what's happening with their content. So uh, what the impressions and reach are, the amount of engagement, that's likes, clicks, shares, um, all the way through the entire um, you know path of the drive from the first place where they're seeing the ad or seeing the piece of content um, all the way through the, through the conversion. So uh, for me, as an advertiser, it's really hard to argue with the data when you're able to say, okay, um, I spent X dollars on this ad, it got X reach, and then it ultimately was able to drive so many conversions. It's really easy to calculate an ROI there, um, much more so, I think, than a, um, a traditional piece of media, maybe on um, print or in, or in a magazine. Yeah. And... What is one thing, uh, aside from social media in this conference, uh, that 
it was good insight and you're going to bring back to your firm? Um, I think mostly is keeping in mind that mobile is top of mind, okay. um, especially within the driver community. Uh, these folks are on the go. Um, you know, desktop is still an important place, but um, you know, the thumb is in charge. Uh, we have to be able to create content that connect with drivers um, on their mobile phones. So having short forms that are mobile friendly, um, having videos that are mobile friendly, um, having everything in a really easily um, digestible format so that it can be done um, quickly on mobile. Exactly. Um, now, what about the older generation um, that perhaps are not as social media savvy? Is there, uh, you know, how do we reach out to them? Can we still do Facebook with them? You know, what, what's your thought on that? Right. Well, Facebook is, is you know, about 10 years old. Yeah. Um, Twitter is just behind that. Instagram is behind that as well. And and what we're seeing, the um, the younger generation, they've been on these channels for a few years. Yeah. So the largest growing segment on social media is actually this baby boomer generation. Yeah. So that's the part that's really catching up now. Um, they're finding out, oh my gosh, I can log on here and be connected to my childhood friends, my old classmates. My kids. Um, exactly. Yeah. And it's a way for them to stay connected. So. Um, there's definitely, I think, a learning curve there, but as they get more comfortable with it, uh, they're understanding that um, technology is not going anywhere. It's really becoming a way to enhance their lives rather than to hold them back. So um, it's nice too, they can have their kids help them do that. And, and we're starting to see our parents, our grandparents um, on social media now, and, and that's only going to grow. That's all very insightful. Mm -hmm. And Leah, thank you for joining us at Transport Topics. Thank you very much.